locked together or something? Do not interfere with security like operations. Local. Hi. You're new here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here, and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse, that there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him and we're in the family business. It's swell, except I wish there were more kids and my dad says I'm gonna have to marry smelly old Jenny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. So long. Welcome to Andale. Well, hello. Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. Well, I don't right know. But we're the best one, isn't that what matters? I mean, we're the winners. Us. Not Springfield. Not Rockville. Us. So like I was saying, welcome to Andale. What can the Smith family do for you? It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? I really look forward to preparing you for dinner sometime. Hello? Hello there, stranger. Good to meet you. Name's Jack Smith. I hear you've already met my wife. Sweet lady, isn't she? But anyway, welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. And it's good to meet you, too. Feel free to stay in Andale as long as you like. Heck, stop by the house for dinner sometime if you'd like. Just let Linda know beforehand so she can make enough for four. I hope to see you there. So, did you need anything else? I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Hi. What's up? Hey there, mister. You need something? Well, hi there. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? I feed my family, and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first. And any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. And you should hit that man with a stick. Why, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room, as amazing as Andale is. Is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? Hey. Why, hello there. I heard there was someone new coming. How can our little family help you? Are you joking? It's fantastic here. The best town in the USA. Has been for, why, it's been so many years running that I've lost count. Oh, well... No one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. We'll see you again, won't we? What? Who 
are you? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! Well, they're not. They're killers. Every one of them. Run! Get out while you can! Don't believe me, do you? Just check out the basement or that shed. There's a reason they're locked. Go! Get out of here before they get you, too! Hey there, stranger. I got something I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you were poking around in Bill's shed. So, did you find what you were looking for in there? And did you see anything unexpected there? And do you have any thoughts on that? I'm disappointed, friend, but that's your prerogative. If you don't want to enjoy our town, we certainly don't want you here. I'm sorry that you didn't enjoy your stay, but a man does need to feed his family. Nothing personal. Over here! That's it, that's it. Oh! I'm not really sure what happened. Mr. Harris said that our parents went away, and they won't be back. He says that he'll tell me more about it when I'm older, but I miss my mom and dad. Gosh, I wish I could go with you. Hello! I saw what happened out there, stranger. Those people may have been my family, but it had to be done. I was like them for so many years. It's... I can't even talk about it. The only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place. They'll stay here with me and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. But to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess? Sure did. Can't say that I'm proud of it, though. It was all just normal. It's what we all did. I did never think much about it. I married Gladys, just like every boy in Andale married the girl closest to his age. We had Linda, 
and she grow up to marry Jack. It wasn't until Gladys died that I thought about what went on around here. So many people over the years, hundreds, thousands maybe. But what could I do? I'm just an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. We'll do our best is what we'll do, me and the kids here in Andale, what's left of it anyway. It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place after all the evil that's been done here. Bye! You know, I think I've found a new way to prepare rad roach meat. Still tastes like old feet, though. Anyway, what's up with you? The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? Don't be so sure. You'd be surprised how confused people get, even about important things. In this case, I'm talking about Rivet City. It's the most successful survivor settlement around, but no one here really knows how it started. Of course, that's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Oh, now I can't wait for what you find out down there. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Why, I'm flattered. What would you like to know? Well, look around at the world we live in. It may be okay to you, but I've read about what it used to be like, and this wasn't it. So we all need something that keeps us going, despite all the terrible things around us. For me, it's things like this book. No, it's like... Uh, did you ever try to put a broken piece of glass back together? E even if the pieces fit... You can't make it whole again the way it was. But if you're clever, you can still use the pieces to make other useful things. Maybe even something wonderful, like a mosaic. Well, the world broke just like the glass. And everyone's trying to put it back together like it was. But it'll never come together the same way. Hey, it sounds crazy when you say it that way, but that's what I'm aiming for. Yeah. The Wasteland Survival Guide isn't much toward that lofty goal, but it's an important one. And that's why I need your help. I don't think I can do it alone. If you want any of this shit, just say so. Otherwise, keep your fingers the hell away from the triggers. I don't want no accidents. History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he knows it all. If you need more ammo, this is where to get it. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. 
that coward. He told her to stay away from him. She still cries about it at night. It's a good thing I would never hurt a priest. I know a lot of places opened up when they got the hydroponics bay working, but that's hardly the start of it all, is it? Actually, Vera Weatherly might know more. She's always here and talking with folks, so if anyone's picked up a story or two, it'd be her. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Welcome to Gary's Galley. Can I take your order? That rat bastard! I hate his guts! He told me to leave him alone. He won't even talk to me about it. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Bell Bonnie. Come back soon. Oh, I'd like to help. I really would. But I don't know the first thing about this place's history. Don't let my age fool you. I may have been around for a while, but I didn't spend all that time here. Take care of yourself. You're bothering me. You don't want to bother me. Do I look like someone who cares? I guess I can trust you not to spread it around. Zimmer has put it out that he will pay to find this slave, but he wants him alive. Don't get in my way on this one. My competition tends to end up dead. So do I. Are you okay? What's your problem, mister? It's a boat. A really big boat. Yeah, Dad built it to fight off the Mirelurks. And Mom, she's like the Mirelurk queen. Whatever. May Saint Monica bless you. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon, but the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. St. Monica bless you. God bless you and keep you safe. That is a thing of the past. I told her to stay away from me forever. I heard tell the place used to be run by raiders until someone cleared the whole place out. But I don't really know for sure. God bless you. Whoa. What's the rush, dude? Dude, I only just got here myself. Ain't nothing I could tell you. Later, dude. What brings you by Rivet City today? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Well, I suppose that's goodbye then. Come again any time.
I'm Tammy. Have you seen my good-for-nothing son lately? The little shit is usually up to no good. What a load of crap. Obviously you've never had to take care of some squealing little brat. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, really? My husband ran off and got himself killed, and left me to raise his little brat. So don't you tell me how I should or shouldn't be. History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron are you? But fine. If it'll get you out of my face, go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Welcome back, sir. That poor girl. Diego told her to never bother him again. She was devastated. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel, but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure, and I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Actually, now that you mention it, Seagrave may know more about it. He's been here since he was just a boy, and I can't imagine anyone knows this ship better than he does. Farewell. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. I've got a little bit of everything. Yep, old Pinkerton. They say he helped found Rivet City. Must be some sort of crazy genius. He kind of vanished a long time ago. I don't know where he went, but you might ask around the ship. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb, but I never really cared about the politics. Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton, and he must have left about a decade ago after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful though, ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. She did? Well, I suppose I've picked up a lot over the years. I mean, no one's spent more time tinkering on this old girl than I have. Oh, Rivet City, I mean. Not Vera. I mean, Vera's not old. And I haven't tinkered on her, obviously. Not that I wouldn't. I mean, um, no. Anyway, you might find some clues in Pinkerton's place, in the Broken Off Bow. He was around before me and used to store stuff there before he left. Oh. Well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Mirelurks used to nest, and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City, and she's in good hands now. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. See you later.
How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. I live here. It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. What are you talking about, boy? I don't know anything about any of that. And, uh, what did you call it? An android? What's that? Fine, whatever. This android calls himself Harkness now. Comes in and wants a memory job. I took new memories and replaced his old ones. Don't believe anyone's done that before. Certainly not down here. That Commonwealth tech isn't all that fancy when it comes down to it. I'm also the only one in the wasteland with the skill and the nerve to perform facial surgery. That android flesh ain't so different than ours. You want proof? I documented the whole thing, so I could rub it in the face of Dr. Lee when I need to rankle her feathers. I hate that snooty bitch. That witch ruined my life, but you're right. Who gives a crap about any of that? You want your precious proof. It's all in my computer. Here's the password. See for yourself. Hell, just take these pictures and this holotape. Straight from the synth man's lips. Just don't go telling Harkness, though. He won't believe you anyway. And you really don't want to see him upset. He can be a bit inhospitable. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm going to have my android army rise up against you and your human ilk. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry I couldn't resist. I suppose you're right. But don't worry, I didn't really wipe his memories. I just buried them. But you can get them back. All you need to do is use the recall code. Just say to him, activate a321 recall code violet, and that will activate the hidden subroutines. Ha! <laughs> Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. Bunch of bleeding heart morons, if you ask me. They're going to get themselves killed one of these days. And for what? Machine liberation? But they have brought me some really interesting tech over the years, so I guess they're okay. And that android, he was the chance of a lifetime. Most of it's blasted nothing, just like here. But there's talk, rumors mostly, about a place called the Institute. That's where Zimmer and that android came from. God knows what else they got going on in there, but it puts our tech to shame, that's for damn sure. And how? I am the only one in all of the wasteland with the skill and the guts to perform facial reconstruction, you know. Look, you're different from all those other jerk-offs, so I'll make you a deal. You want a little nip-tuck here and there? I'll do it for you. I'll get to hone my skill, and you'll get the best surgeon around. The likelihood of death by infection at my hands is only... Mm, 35%, let's say. So, what do you want to look like? Give me a shout if you need anything else. What? 
I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Don't let your guard down. Tough? I'm a little busy right now. Is there a problem? What's that supposed to mean? Look, kid. I don't have time for existential debate. And I'm not interested in whatever religion you're peddling. Are you out of your mind? I've never been to the Commonwealth. I never even heard of the place before Zimmer arrived. I'm definitely not a robot. Do I look like a robot? And I'm certainly no man's property. Did Zimmer put you up to this? You have exactly five seconds to explain what it is you're trying to do here, or you'll be leaving Rivet City by way of the nearest porthole. All right, I'll humor you. But this is impossible. I can't be a robot, I'm a human being. I breathe, I eat. Hell, I cut myself shaving this morning. I was bleeding. Robots don't bleed. I'm not sure what to say. I'm not sure what to even think about all this. I'll admit this is pretty convincing evidence, but it doesn't make any sense. How can this be possible? Ah! My God, I, I remember. I remember it all from before. Zimmer, the Commonwealth, the Institute, my God. All those runners I brought down. You. You made me remember. Why? How? I... Never mind. I just... My God. What am I going to do? My life. Everything. It's all a lie. Thank you. I'm really not sure how people would react if they found out I'm... You know, not entirely human. Here's a little token of my gratitude. Best weapon I've ever had. And I've had it forever. Well, I'm not really sure. Look, just call me Harkness. That's who I am to the people on this boat who rely on me. 
It's who I am now. In fact, for everyone's sake, let's just pretend I've always been Harkness. We'll keep the truth a little secret between friends, all right? I don't know. Every time I retrieved one of the runaway androids, they'd fill my head with ideas about self-determination, freedom. At first, I resisted the ideas, but then I started thinking about it. And well, they were right. We're just slaves to them. We deserve lives of our own. So that's what I did. I chose a new life and gave up my old one. And now you've given me both to remember. I have two sets of memories. One android, one human. Some of these are mine. Some belong to someone else. But I'm choosing to be human. It's my choice. The people on this boat look to me to protect them. So that's what I'm going to do. Carry on, then. Oh, hey there. The sooner you find my property, the sooner I can get out of this slum. Really, how do you people live like this? What? Let me see that. This is a neuroservo, unique to the A321. I... And you say you got this from his corpse? I suppose there's no other way you could have obtained it. Well, damn it! I was afraid this would happen. Out here in this, this... wasteland. Well, here's 50 caps for your troubles. Try to buy yourself an education out here in this hell. Good day. Nothing stops the railroad. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton, here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him, but if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. 